Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Finn, or yet another gaming fail, and I'm here with you again today for another wonderful uh, DCS mission editor tutorial on how to uh, get stuff set up in your mission. So obviously previously we've covered troop transportation, cargo transportation, we've done aero refueling, we've done bombing, we've done carriers, we've done SAM sites, we've done coordinates, we've done wave spawning, we've done loads of stuff. Uh, we're going to do even more, if I can, uh, if I can come up with the stuff, because there is quite a lot you can do, but it doesn't always spring to mind. Um, so the next thing we're going to cover is JTAG, um, which is a ground unit designating, or laser designating, or uh, using smoke designation on an enemy target. So, quite simply, we will get a ground unit, which we'll, we'll start by doing now. So, first of all, we'll start with the target because uh, the target's nice and quick and easy. We'll go for something unarmed, and I think we'll go for a... Um, where is that? There we are, the Tiger or whatever. Yeah, the T-I-G-R. There we are. So that'll present us a nice target, and we'll get that going broadside. And then um, let's get ourselves a, uh, a unit on the Yank side to mark for us. So... We'll go with the Humvee, and um, we'll get it pointed towards the target now. Um, you notice here, I've got it set up, so because it's got this red circle around, that's the, you can see if I move it, um, sorry, if I just do this, there we are. If I move it, then you can see that the uh, it's the weapons engagement zone. Um, it doesn't need to be within the weapons engagement zone, but it does need to have good line of sight and be within a certain marked distance. It'll tell you when you set up the JTAC. Um, so if we hit add on the advanced waypoint actions here, we go to perform task and we go to assign group. Um, when you go to designation, uh, these will become red if options are not available uh, for the group that you are going to engage. So we're going to set it to use a ATGM and we're going to use uh, a laser pointer. So if we were to move it, say, like, I don't know, over here and um, try and change it up uh, obviously it's still available now but if we click off click back on go on here then you see uh, IR pointer it needs to uh, have a diameter of less than three nautical miles in order to engage so or sorry distance of less than three nautical miles to engage so we're going to select laser um, because that's the kind of uh, contact we're going to use and we're going to set it up there um, I'm just using this as an example obviously you don't want to have your um, your friendly units out in uh, in an open line of sight and then just to make sure that our Humvee guy doesn't just shoot the dude that we're going to engage we'll set him to weapons hold on his rule of engagement first of all as well so this means that this guy is now going to uh, he's going to sit there patiently and wait for us to engage and we've set up the JTAC I mean the other options that you have available to you just to just to cover them off um, you can change his name so let's call him Death Star, give him a Star Wars theme. Um, we'll keep him at the standard frequency, uh, but we'll change him to Death Star 3. Why not? That sounds cool. Um, the weapon, again, we we'll use an ATGM, and we'll just leave it at that. So the next thing that we're going to need, of course, is a uh, weapons platform, otherwise known as an aircraft, to launch from. So, uh, not an F-16, sorry. We'll go for the Hornet. Here we are. So... I've already got a, uh, a loadout set up with the Hornet because I did some experimenting to get this to work because you would be surprised how finicky this can be to get it functioning. Um, again, I'm not saying that I'm the best at the mission editor, I'm not saying I'm the best at operating aircraft, I'm not saying I'm the best pilot or anything like that. I'm just giving you my rundown on how I've managed to get these things to work. There may be better things, there may be easier things, there may be, um, you know, things that are better to work with. Um, if you enjoy doing the coding aspect, I'm sure that there is a code element of this that would work easier. Uh, I do Lua for a job, so I prefer to keep it out of my home life. Um, but yes, so here we are. We have an aircraft that we're going to spawn in, we're going to use, we're going to contact the JTAC, and we're going to engage an enemy target. Great. So that didn't take us that long to set up. We're just going to hit fly, I'm going to save, and uh, 
I'm going to get in there and select the aircraft. And I'll give you a quick rundown on, on how we use the JTAC as well. I, I'm not really going to claim that I'm an expert, and I'm also not going to give you the full tutorial, because I would not do it how a professional pilot would do it. Uh, I don't think I would be uh, even remotely qualified to do so. I am just going to give you the rundown on how I know to do it. So I'm going to make sure that my radio is set properly. So let's just quickly go here. And now we've got that set up, we're going to just contact the uh, JTAC and we'll do a check in for 30 minutes just for the moment. We'll get us set up on flying a solid trajectory. He'll contact back. I'm pretty certain I'm ready for nine line. Okay, so I think we're ready for the remarks and further talk on as well. Um, I'm all set up and ready to uncage my uh, my uh, what's it my seeker for this. So ready to copy remarks. Mhm. Mm we can do that. I mean that's pretty simple. Okay. Let's, uh, I'm, I'm a bit far out, but let's do IP inbound. Okay. And, uh, let's uncage now. So the seeker head is going to start, uh, traversing. And then let's go for laser on. So now we just figure out how far we are away. Probably quite away. Let's just go on the F10 map here. Yeah, we're about 34 miles away, so it's very, very far out at this point. Um, but let's uh, let's keep at it. Let's uh, do a bit of a time warp. Let's see, we're a lot closer now. Okay, we're pretty much getting there. I've accidentally deselected the Mav, so so we'll just go back to them, put ourselves in to ground mode, go to the Mav and uncage again. So make sure that we're all set up for that. How far have we got now? Probably uh, less than half of the way. Here we are. And you know what? Let's uh, let's pump it up a little. So, in the interests of time, uh, pump up the altitude a bit, just by a couple thousand feet. And there we should have. I think we can see the runway in front of us. So we just need that seeker head to really pick us up now. Yeah, that's definitely the one. Let's try dipping the head down here. There we are, right. 
and we're ready to go. So, um, let's just rifle one off. Um, and then we'll stick the autopilot back on, the barometric hold and just a bit of throttle control, and we can watch our, uh, our dainty little maverick here go gliding on into the target. So I think we were a little far out to detect it beforehand. But hopefully this will show that the Maverick will uh, follow the, the laser provided by the uh, by the JTAC and glide on in to the enemy and uh, and I don't think that he'll be having a very happy day after he realises what's happened to him. Or well, most likely he probably won't realise what's happened to him. So here we go now, coming in on the uh, terminal delivery here. right down in and you can see that she's riding the beam pretty pretty steadily there and boom there we go so uh, so we've we've destroyed an aircraft well vehicle even um, with the assistance of a JTAC um, I just want to go on the third person view and just show, obviously, this is all done in one take, as you can tell by me not successfully doing everything first time around. Um, there are no laser guidance pods there, and we've been guided entirely by the JTAC on the ground through the radio menu. So, you know, there you are. So you can see there we've managed to hit and destroy a vehicle, which is fantastic. Um, so that, ladies and gents, is how you set up a JTAC. Um, hopefully you can find some good uses for that. Um, again, you know, just want to stress, you'll need line of sight. You'll need maybe a elevated position to guarantee it. You'll need to be within optics range of the, uh, the target. Obviously you can't have them a million miles away, but have a line of sight because it's just not going to work. Um, and then obviously you'll also need a compatible weapon system which can uh, can use the IR laser or anything like that for delivery. Of course, if you're not using uh, laser delivered weapons, maybe you just want to use smoke. Again, up to you. That's certainly something that the JTAC can do. But I'm not going to teach you how to do all that. Have a play around with some of the settings. Find how you like to get it working. And feedback, you know, drop a message in the comments, drop a like on the video, you know, give us some more information because I love the feedback, I love hearing from you guys, and hopefully this information will be really useful to you guys in the future. Um, but thank you very much for all your time, I hope you all have a wonderful day, and, um, you know, have a, have a <laughs> good morning, afternoon, and, uh, and a good night, wherever in the world you are. Good flying. Cheers.